All right. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. This is a beautiful 35 minute barefoot sculpt class. Grab your mat, ankles, ankle weights, light hand weights, ball, and magic circle, and your bands. Okay, so look, look what I have right here. Again, you don't need a magic circle, you don't need a ball, you need light hand weights. All you really need is a mat and light hand weights. So, I have my magic circle, I have my ankle weights, I have my arena strength band, small deflated ball and I'm gonna have three pound hand weights in my hand all right so we're gonna do seven working tracks the first two we're gonna use light dumbbells track three and four we're gonna use our band and then track five we're gonna do wall Pilates and then we're gonna do stretching and balance so it's a complete full body workout using different pieces of equipment barefoot sculpt style okay we are gonna start 35 minutes start to finish my friend so let's get this started all right welcome to this 35 minute barefoot full body sculpt mat ankle weights light hand weights if you have a magic circle and if you have a small deflated ball grab it and also grab your arena strength bands let's start beautiful deep breath in my name is angie angie fitness tv 35 minutes start to finish my friend teammate and partner and exhale one more time a very beautiful inhalation and then exhale tap it right to left now we're just going to warm it up and then we're going to grab our light hand weights one two or three pound hand weights heel to your butt hamstring curl now let's just pull it back just warming up the body warming up the body big movements here full body barefoot sculpt now let's tap it lift the arm up I'm so glad you're here with me you're my teammate you're my partner in today's workout we're gonna really work our body we're gonna sculpt tone and define cross your body cross thumbs up right here <sighs> breathe into the deepest part of your lungs right here beautiful job now I want you to do toe taps in front, toe tap. Beautiful big toe taps, thumbs up, just reaching your arms forward. Just wanna warm up the body, nice and slow. Now we're gonna do palms down and we're gonna cross. Keep the toe tap, cross, back, palms face down, forward and then squeeze a ball in between your shoulders toe tap right here nice and slow beautiful body movement now give me heels no arms heel tap warming up the back side of me. actually getting those calves a little bit right here hands on your hips we're gonna take our hands up we're gonna keep the heel taps we're gonna pull a rope pull a rope up down actually activate the back side of your body two more nice and slow pull that rope lift it up right here just want you to march it right to left my friend right to left deep breath in and a beautiful exhalation one more time we're gonna grab those light hand weights big inhale and a beautiful exhale let's just roll the shoulders to finish us off for four one two three four left side one two one more each side one more each side one two three one more beautiful job can we do just a little squat down up just want to make sure that back side of your body 
is nice and warm. Beautiful job. Well, we are going to lunge side to side. So step a little bit wider. Side, side. Now, if you want, hands on your hips or on the ground. Beautiful. So if you can, if you're warm, right here. Four more. Three. Two. I want you to toe heel in, toe heel in, toe heel. I want you to grab your one, twos, or threes right now. All right, we are going to start tapping. Take it in front. Light hand weights. I have three pounds in my hands right here. Breathe it through. This is going to really pack a punch. Palms face up. Same thing. Hey, Betta, I'm going to Italy. We're going to Rome and uh, Venice, Italy, and Pompeii. Yeah. September 20th. Okay, let's do palms down. Palms down. Working it here. Working those with those different arm movements. Light hand weight. Beautiful job. We're gonna go palm face in, and then over our head, palm face in, up to the front diagonal. So you're coming to the corner of the wall. Beautiful job. What a great way to wake up all these muscles in that upper body. We're gonna row with a hamstring curl. Row. Hamstring curls when a heel taps to your butt. Right here. Breathe it through. Beautiful job. You're gonna keep the arms, give me heel taps. Making you think here. Yeah, just moving those legs while we're using those very light hand weights to sculpt, tone, and define that upper body. Now toe taps in to chest work. Toe taps come in to out to in to. I know you guys are super warm. Keep it going. All right, shake it off. All right, you guys, this is track two of seven. So the first track was just to get us warmed up. We're gonna take these light hand weights. We're gonna take the right foot forward, left toe back. We're gonna go down, two, up, two. Shave down your leg, single leg deadlift. Down, two, again. Four more, two by two, down. Track two of seven. Woo! So I want that left heel off the ground. One more. Now, we're gonna just take that left foot up. Isometric hold. So that left leg is off the ground. We're holding. Hold this, feel the back side. Now we're gonna take that left toe down. Let's shave down and up. Eight more, two by two, down, two, up, two. Shave it down, lift it up. Shave it down, lift it up. Total of 16. Four more, my friend. Shave it down and lift your shirt up. Shave down your body, lift the shirt up. Two more and we're gonna lift that left leg, core, Balance challenge. Are you ready? Lift that left leg. Lift it up. In a minute, we're gonna place our left foot forward, our right foot back. Hold this isometric hold. Okay, let's switch it. Left foot forward, right foot back. Let's shave. Down, two, up two. So that left foot is forward. So you're picking up a shirt here. So there we go, down. Two, up, two. One side may be more balanced than the other side. You got four more, my friend. Down, two. We're gonna go into fabric bands after this. 
full body workout here. You ready? You're gonna lift that right leg balance challenge. Hold. Tons of ankle stabilizers working in this left side of your body. Feel that left side of your body. Take the right toe down, shave it down, shirt up for eight. Down, two, up, two, down, two. Remember, it's a total of 16. Down, two. Beautiful job. Shave it down and lift it up. You got four more, and we're going to lift that right leg again. <sighs> Breathe it through. Oh, this feels so good. I love to sculpt, tone, and define my body. Ah, it feels so good. Let's lift that right leg. Right here. Isometric challenge. Just staying stable without moving the muscles. Let's feel them all engage. You may be shaky. Now we're gonna take it wide. We're gonna row, row. So we have a hip hinge. One, two. Grab a rope, grab a rope. Right here. Sit back in your heels. Sit back in that right and left heel. Nice and equal, here we go. One, two, three. Come on, one. I want you to really get those elbows back. Shoulders melted away from your ears. You're gonna stay in the stance, palms face away. Lift, lower, elbows lift. Elbows lift from behind. Elbows lift. So you're sitting nice and equal. Sitting back in a chair. Right left heel. Nice and equal. Eight more. Eight. Squeeze a lemon in between your shoulder blades. Even out the weight between that right and left side, my friend. You don't have more weight on one side than the other. Okay, we're going to go back into that rope. Here we go. One, two. Pull the rope. So you're in an isometric contraction with that lower body. Lift your toes if you can. <sighs> All right, scarecrow elbows. Up, down, sit back in your heels. We're gonna grab our fabric brands, arena bands. <sighs> sit it back. Last rope, one, two. Last rope and last scarecrow. We call them scarecrow arms. Sit back, my friends. Shoulders melt away from your ears. Totally activating tons of muscles. Elbows back. Ugh. Squeezing a lemon in between your shoulder blades. Four more, four more. Four, three, two. Okay, back leg taps back. Tap it back and tap the right leg back. Okay, put your dumbbells up. Grab your arena fabric band. Here we go. One minute, two step touches this way, two step touches that way. One, two, there we go. One minute, each exercise. Arena strength band time, track three. Seven. After this, we're going Pilates on the wall. 30 more seconds. Hip, knees, toes, point forward. Right here. Sit in that little squat. You're going to burn, my friend. You're going to burn. There's no way to get around it. Six exercises using the arena strength band. Big steps. Keep the tension on this band. I want you to take it center. Now I want you to tap the toe. Tap. So it's a lateral movement here or you can lift or tap. So you may want to tap and lift or lift the whole time. 60 seconds, six exercises and each exercise is 60 seconds. Now do what you want with your arms. I'm working your hip abductors and your internal and external obliques. Balance here. Core work right here. That one leg is having to stabilize the weight of your body right here. 
You have 20 seconds, and we're going to switch sides. Beautiful job. Lift. Feel that entire lateral side, the outside of your body. Work. That's what you want for hip health right here. Shake it out really quick and do a toe. And then do a lift and see what you want to do for 60 seconds. Up to you. You may want to do one toe and then one lift. Option, all toes or one toe, one heel or all lifts. 40 seconds. You can go at your own pace or stay to the beat of the music. Up to you. Working these lateral hip abductors. Beautiful job. Oh, my friend. You got 20 seconds and we're going to reverse lunge right here. These bands are really beautiful for that lower body. It's a beautiful balance challenge because you have that resistance on your outer thighs. I want you to shake it. Now your feet are hip width apart. Now watch me. We're going to go back to up to and switch. Come with me. Switching legs. I want you to get in a crouch. Come on down. Knee touches and then come on up. So it's down for two, up for two. I want you to learn to work getting the knee on the ground, pressing it up. My toe is still broken and coming up, coming down, coming up. It's my left toe that's broken. I put a 15 pound weight on it. So barefoot exercises, Ugh. 20 seconds. Grab something and then lift. Grab something and lift. If you can, get the knee down, grab, and then lift. I broke my toe, so I gotta come here. One more each side. Pick something up off the ground and come on up. One more time. Pick something up off the ground and come up. You're gonna come wide. Knees are tracking over that second and third toe. Knees are coming to the back of the room. Can you do that for me? Down and up, down, up. Now knees track over the second and third toe. Knees are coming to the back of the room. Don't let them cave in. Down, up, down, up. You got 30 seconds here. Come up nice and equal between that right and left leg. Push it, push. Down, up, knees to the back of the room. 15 seconds. Down, up, down, up. I know you're working that lower body. That's what I want. I want you to toe heel it in, toe heel it in. Butt on the ground, sit. When you're ready, I want you to take your legs up and come out and in with this band. Out, in. Let's work it. Now I want you to out and cross the leg. Out, cross the other leg. So we're alternating in this beautiful scissor pattern. Our band, I have a medium arena strength band. And it's giving me that extra resistance right here. Down. So you're crossing. You're working core. You're working that lower body, hip health, right here. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but legs front and back. One, you can go down, or you can, one, two, up to you. Your timing. You have the resistance of the band, you're working core, and you're working lower body. Right here, keep going, keep going. You're going to have 15 more seconds with this. We're going to grab our magic circle. We're going to go Pilates on the wall. All right, you guys. Grab behind your knees. Take this um, 
take your fabric band off, grab your small deflated ball. Okay, so I need to make sure you can see me. I want you to put the ball, if you have it, in between your knees. Okay, have that magic circle by your side. All we're gonna do is lift our butt off two by two. Looks like this, lift, two. Now, you're not squeezing the ball, Pilates on the wall. So we're just lifting. We're imprinting our feet onto the wall. Lift for two, lower, two, up, 60 seconds. We have Pilates on the wall. And we're gonna work some balance using ankle weights. And we're gonna hit the core and stretch. Using all our different pieces of equipment, you have 20 seconds. So you're lifting for two, lowering for two, up two, lower two. You're just holding the ball in between your knees. You're not squeezing the ball at all. Two more. One more. All right. You're gonna take your legs off the wall. We're gonna touch our heels to the wall in neutral. So down, two, up. Now don't let your knees come past your heels. So down, touch the wall, lift, up. Down, touch the wall, right and left heel, nice and equal. Down, two, up, two. Put your hands here so your knees don't drive past your hips. Down, two, up, two, down, two, up. 20 seconds. Keep it going. So heels touch. Oh, my ball. Down. So we're not squeezing the ball. We're just holding it. One more. All right. So we're going to take the ball off to the side. We're going to walk up four and walk down four. Pick a leg. You walk two, three, four. Same foot. Down for four. And then other leg walks up. One, two, three. Alternating. Down. Two, three. Alternating the foot that walks up. Same foot that walks up is the same foot that walks down. And you're alternating. Right here. Walking up and down. Working the back side of our body. One, two. Let's work that back side of the body. Alternating your legs. Keep going. One, two, three. Three, four, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. One more each side. Ready? One more each leg. Up, two, three, four, down, two. And that la other leg. One, two, three, four, down, two. I want your butt to come as close as you can to the wall. So you're going to scoot. You got to scoot your butt up on the wall. Okay, my friends, you're gonna out for two, in for two, slide your heels on the wall. Slide your heels on the wall. Your butt is on the wall. The backs of your legs are on the wall. Let's finish this. One more song to go through. Pilates on the wall. Just slide it out and slide it in. I want the backs of your legs to touch. Out for two, and in for two. All right, come on up. You're gonna turn the other way. Oh, you're gonna love me for this, my friends. Your top butt cheek is touching the wall. Your back heel is touching the wall. We're gonna lift, lower. Lift, lower. Lift, lower, lift, four more, here we go, total of eight, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, okay, you're going to take this right leg, you just did it, you're going to place that right foot on the wall, place that right foot on the wall, left, hand up 
We're going to take the left elbow to that. We're going to, sorry, left elbow to that right elbow. Okay, hold it right here though, isometric hold. I want your entire right foot implanted into the wall. You're going to have 60 seconds to take that left elbow to the right knee. Your timing, let's go. So this is beautiful spinal rotation. I'm working your back. I want your right foot super glued into that wall. That right leg is as high as your hip. Now if you want, you're going to touch the elbow and you're going to turn and look up. Depends on how strong. 30 seconds. Pilates on the wall. This is really hard here if your right foot is really super glued on that wall. Now, I want you to take that left hand, lift it forward. Just hold it forward and that right entire foot is super glued on the mat. You're working back extension right here. And I want you to shake it out. I want you to come here. Are you ready? I want that top butt cheek to come on the wall. Oh, just breathe it through. Are you ready? We're going to go up and hold and then down. We have eight. Here we go. Here we go. Up and hold and down one. Your back heels on the wall. Up and hold. Down two. Up and hold. Down three. Up and hold. Down four. You got eight. Up and hold down five up and hold down six up and hold down seven one more up and hold down eight take that left foot place it on the wall super glued on the wall take that right elbow up hold it here you're going to rotate right elbow into the left elbow you have 60 seconds your timing let's go working that spinal rotation on that other side. Breathe it through. Beautiful strengthening in through the spine. Move through that wet cement. Nice and sticky, slow controlled motion. Your entire left foot is anchored and super glued to the wall. You're activating through your, the back side of your body to keep that leg up. I want you to lift that right arm, thumbs up, opposite leg, opposite arm, strengthening, back extension. Give me 10 more seconds. Oh, feel all that beautiful, all those beautiful muscles engaging and working. All right, put on your ankle weights. This is gonna finish us off. Put on your ankle weights, balance and core with ankle weights. Add 2.5 pound ankle weight. All right. Feet are hip width apart. Just deep breath in. We're not done. Last two songs. I want you to take that right toe out. And I want you just to begin to balance and float. Balance and core. You have 30 seconds here. Isometric hold. You're going to feel the internal, external obliques actively engage. Adding those ankle weights is really, really adding that extra punch. Keep that leg lifted. Challenge your core. Challenge your balance. 30 seconds each hold. After this, we get to stretch and take the ankle weights off. You ready? Left toe, 30 seconds. Now you can have your hand in a prayer position or you can have your arms nice and long. 30 seconds each hold, each isometric hold. You can feel this right leg just shaking. Your ankles, knees, hip joints, all the small stabilizing muscles are working to hold you up. Come on. Take it in, lift it up. Now arms can float down. 
and up. 30 seconds each hold. Growing tall like a tall tree. Right leg lifted. Breathe it through. Breathe into the deepest part of the lungs. Challenge your balance, holding it 30 seconds at a time. And switch. Keep the arms. Woo! You're going to notice one side. You may, be, you may be able to hold better. Breathe. Just grow really tall. Expand through the rib cage. Keep that left leg lifted. Take that leg down and lift legs out. Beautiful dancers pose. Just hold, lengthen. Fingertips are reaching for your toes. Shoulders melt away from your ears. Lengthen, lengthen. Shake it and switch. Other leg, keep it lifted at hip height. Melt those shoulders away from your ears. Ten seconds. I want you to come up here. Come up on your toes, fingertips lift, expand through the rib cage. High heels, this is it. Time to stretch, take those ankle weights off. You can take these wrist straps off too. Deep breath in, time to stretch, mobility. And exhale, one more time. Beautiful inhale. And a beautiful exhale. Right hip in and out. Your timing. Let's do both. Just roll it in, roll it out. I'm going to give you 60 seconds. Hip mobility. We're rolling the knee in, center, out. Hold on to a wall. If you need to, you got 30 seconds, your timing. This is it, my friends. <laughs> Hold on to that wall, absolutely. Challenging your balance still. Beautiful for hip mobility. Put your hand on your hip. Feel the femur, the bone. In, in. Feel it rotate. Just want you to hold the wall and just up and back. Soft bend in the stabilizing leg. Just releasing in through the hip. Just go where you need to go. Beautiful. Now, again, side. Hold, just hold the chair in a wall. Just sliding it out to the side. In and out, so really freeze the hip. And release. All right, so we're just going to take that other leg, just nice and natural. Let your foot just hang. It's like you're naturally just swinging it, seeing where the range of motion is and where it will swing, what it will do. You, we're trying to just open it up naturally. All right, now you're going to take it in and out. Again, your timing, just working with that hip joint, creating better range of motion. All right, guys, put your butt on a wall. Put a bend in your knees, reach for your toes. Hold it, grab your elbows, and hang. If you can, straighten out your legs, both butt cheeks on the wall. Stretching the back side of your body. Okay, roll it up, one vertebra at a time. Shoulders on the wall, just side to side. 
while your shoulders are on the wall, just rotate side to side. I want your shoulders and your back super glued to the wall. Your hips are gonna obviously come out to the side. Shoulders and back are like literally super glued on this wall. It's gonna allow you to go deeper in the stretch and in through the hip if you need it. Oh yeah, I really feel it. Now where you're sticky and tight, hold it. Okay, let's reach. Take our hands center, let's reach for the ground one more time, both butt cheeks. If you can, straighten the legs, grab your elbows. Shake your head yes, shake your head no, but both butt cheeks are in the wall. Put a bend in your knee, roll it up, one vertebra at a time. Shoulders back on the wall, step away from the wall. Deep breath in. And exhale, we are all done. That was a thorough barefoot sculpt with Pilates on the wall light dumbbells. Um, we used our magic circle. We used our arena bands. We used our ankle weights. This workout was full of core and balance challenges all in 35 minutes. I had such a blast being with you today. I would do this workout two times a week on non-consecutive days. So my name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV. I live stream and you can always, always, always watch me recorded. I'm on YouTube. My name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV, all one word. It has been such a pleasure. Remember my friend, you have one life, you have one body. This is my mantra. <laughs> You are so blessed you can see, hear, move, work out. You have a roof over your head. You have clean water. You have family. You have friends. You have a community. You have a car. You have a job. Absolutely know you are blessed each and every day, my friend. You are beautiful. You are unique. And you are perfect just the way you are in this world. If there's things you want to change, change them. Only you can change them. You're the producer. You're the director of your life. Don't wait on other people. It's you. You have to take action each and every day to live a healthy lifestyle, to have a healthy mindset. Yeah, right? Daily consistency is what really counts. Motivation, my friend, only gets you so far. It is a daily consistency day after day, month after month, year after year that gets you where you want to be. So just remember that. It has been such a pleasure. Jeanette, Betta, have a beautiful day, and I hope to see you guys on Thursday for my live streams. Goodbye.